So Solar Project has been funded by Horizon 2020 at a European level and NICT at a Japanese level. So it's a collaborative project between EU and Japan, which is dealing with terrier's communication for the future of uh, the wireless networks. Yeah, in fact, in the, in the SOAR concept, we are, we are very ambitious in the fact that we are trying to combine electronic and photonic systems plus very powerful uh, terrain devices like tube amplifier. And in order to do so, we have to combine both electronic uh, European and photonic European technologies and also solid state tubes amplifier uh, by Japanese technology. This would be the first integration of these three technologies in order to to increase both the baud rate and both the, the target in terms of distance of transmission. Also in TOR, we are targeting to uh, realize the first uh, live demo of the terrace communication system by integrating uh, modems directly on the leak, meaning that we will not use uh, beyond the classical uh, signal generation uh, a process like AWG and Scope, but we will use really a commercial modems specially dedicated for this uh, issue. So it will be developed by both uh, Ciclo in Europe and HRCP in Japan, and this targets a fully uh, working system in the terrace range. So in so we have several uh, demonstrations which has been uh, scheduled. So first of all, the demo one is just indoor for uh, data rate in, into, into the buildings, for example. So in this demo one, we have been achieved to transmit almost 40 or beyond 40 gigabit per second over 10 meters. So based on this demo one, we are targeting to, to work in two, two ways, let's say. The first one is to increase the data rate and to reach uh, 100 gigabit per second or beyond using this concept. And also we are targeting to increase the distance of transmission by combination of uh, uh, tube amplifier to the actual system. And this will be a target of between 40 or 100 gigabit per second, but with real integration in the network. The system is composed of different building blocks that come from different parts of the world, some from Europe, some from Japan, from different partners, and building in them all up together is very demanding. Well, you will see in the lab we have a lot of equipment, uh, we have a lot of degrees of freedom uh, with frequencies, with power, which we can set and we have to set. The alignment is an issue um, and you will see this uh, in, in the lab. Okay, so we can he see here um, the whole system uh, and uh, let's start with the local oscillator frequency which come in, comes into the system right here. Um, the frequency is 8.33 gigahertz. Why 8.33 gigahertz? Because uh, in the whole system we have a multiplication fact factor of 36. Uh, so all in all we will end up with a local oscillator frequency of 300 gigahertz. Uh, on this side we have the transmitter, on this side we have the receiver. Um, the local oscillator first gets multiplied by 12 in, in this module and then gets multiplied again by 3 in this module uh, where we also have an up converter um, where the base can, baseband comes from. Uh, we get the signals from an arbitrary waveform generator um, this equipment generates pseudo-random bit, bits that we will process on the baseband of the receiver. Uh, right now we are transmitting the signals uh, over a distance of uh, about 10 meters uh, using horn antennas which have a gain of around 22 dBi so they are quite directive and some lenses. Uh, we are post-processing the signal we are getting with a very fast oscilloscope and um, you can see here on the screen um, is the analyzer software and right now uh, we are sending on uh, a physical channel two signals um, you can see the spectrum here and the two constellation diagrams so we are now transmitting 16 quam um, on both channels so our system is a very directive point-to-point uh, -point link um, so the transmitter has to have a direct connection to the receiver uh, which is important for future applications and uh, the terahertz beam 
is transparent to some materials. Um, like we can see here, now we have a connection, so the transmitter sees the receiver. Uh, and if we put a piece of paper in, in front of the receiver, uh, we still have a connection. So the terahertz beam is transparent to a piece of paper, for example. Um, let's see another example of a plastic box, which is also transparent. Uh, what about the human body? What happens if uh, we put, for example, a hand? Then we lose. So um, we lose connection. So of course we need a direct connection between transmitter and receiver again to have the constellation diagram. Okay, hello. So in the top project we are going to combine different type of technologies in order to achieve some terrace communication systems in the 300 gigahertz band. So we are trying to combine a photonic generation a solid state systems and amplifier to, to have a, a very broadband system with many channels. So in this demo that you can show is there is a communication within 10 meter in which we are combining a transmitter and a receiver with several channels in parallel. It means a frequency multiplexing in the terrace range. So in this demo, using this kind of uh, lenses, we can achieve uh, at least 10 or 20 meters for indoor communication. And in the sole project, we are going to integrate also tube amplifier to have uh, a much uh, higher power at the, in, at the input to increase the range of the system. In order to do that, we need some high gain antenna. And this is an example of a cast grain system at 300 gigahertz going to be used in this uh, project. So in so we are combining different technology and especially one point is uh, integration of a photonic based uh, local oscillator to further improve the fast noise of the, of the total system by using photonic technologies at transmitter and receiver. So this is, this is a validation of the concept, but for sure there is many details or many technical issues that we have to solve the, to to fully understand the behavior of the system. So if you want to have further details, uh, some specification, uh, some details of that uh, working system will be posted on the SOAR website. And we are also to plan to do some publications for sure you, you'll be, uh, if you are interested, you can get some information both for the paper and for the website.